I am very excited to be featuring on the Phoenix Zone, K-Man's one and only Swanky Kickin' Band. I'm here with Mr. Rose from Swanky Kitchen Band. So, Mr. Rose, thank you for joining the game show. You're welcome and thank you for giving me a chance to talk about music. So, Swanky has had a very successful year and awesome year. So, Swanky is celebrating their 20th anniversary and they just finished performing in the United States and in the United Kingdom. What do you feel about uh, success. Well, I am very thankful, first and foremost, for the great year we've had. Um, the success is a blessing. Um, sometimes you don't know where you're going to get an opportunity, so that's why you have to keep practicing and keep going at it because something will come out of your hard work. And so I'm really happy that we've been able to experience this success at this time, and I'm really looking forward to what next year has to offer but 2023 has been really really special and the best part was enjoying it with my musical family the swanky kitchen band so swanky is k-man's most notable band mm -hmm. what would you say to other k-man artists that are coming up well first and foremost uh, thank you for rating us as the most notable band sometimes we we wonder about that um but i think what what makes Swanky unique and what gives it a sense of importance and meaning to our people is the fact that we're, we are trying our best to preserve something that's really important to Cayman's people and that's our identity. A lot of times we tie our identity to, in your to your environment, to things around you. So maybe a building or a place or a tree or a certain beach, things that have sentimental value to our people. And so with a lot of change that's happening now, a lot of people kind of feel like, oh man, where are things going? And so I think Swanky is a, a bit of a, uh, we connect people back to their past and to that sense of belonging. And they know that this belongs to us. And so, yeah, we have lots of people who have come to Cayman from many different places and Cayman has many different influences. But the special thing about kitchen band music is that it really is like the blue iguana. It's indigenous. It's only found here. And yes, it was influenced by the slaves that came. It was influenced by the people from England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland that came. It's influenced by other Caribbean islands a bit as well too. But it's Caymanian. And so it's something that we, we share like a sense of ownership. I think lots of Caymanians feel that this belongs to us. And people that come and love Cayman, they're like, yeah, this is this is really key, man. It's a, a heart and soul. So. What I'd say to K-Man's musicians is to always, whatever you're doing, do it with, with soul and with meaning and with purpose. That's the most important thing. Like, be really authentic and really love what you're doing. And the, the likes will come. Love first, like second. So you're telling other artists that you should put actually more meaning and purpose into what they're doing. Yes. So for events like Cool Out, mm -hmm. Why do you think they are important to K-Man's music scene? That's a really great question. Um, one of the important things for a musician is to perform, right? And K-Man has, while we've evolved and we've developed and we have lots and lots of great places to eat and beautiful hotels, very few of them really support music. 
they don't provide a place where musicians can actually perform and play. If you go to other places in the world that are known for tourism, they have stages, they have venues, they have places that musicians can perform. And here musicians have to back all their gear and back it out. And then after a certain hour of night, all the neighbors are complaining, you can't play music, etc., etc. So what Cool Out does, it creates lots of places and spaces for musicians to perform. And so many, many musicians across Cayman have gotten work over these past three or four days. And on top of that, they're getting to meet musicians from other places in the world. Like tonight, we saw this amazing band called Pebble Soul from South Korea playing their traditional music. We've had artists from Canada, artists from the States, from all over, um, veterans, newbies. And so it's really great for us to be able to work alongside other musicians from other places, to show them what we have, to learn from them. And you know, Cool Out is a, a great weekend of energy for music, so it's fun. So the reason why I like these events, we think they're important, is because you get to learn from the other artists and because you get to perform in front of them. Absolutely. Collaboration and learning and developing your craft is very important. And if we're only playing in this little room all the time to ourselves, you might think, wow, we sound really great. But if no one's listening to us to tell us, um, actually, you need to fix that or change that, or you see how people react and respond, then you don't actually develop as a musician. And I think there's going to be opportunities for Caymanians um, in other places because of the connections they make during Kula. So that's the good thing about Kula. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. And good luck. Thank you so much. And I look forward to hearing you and seeing you on stage in a future Kula, because I know you are a musician too. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>